Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fenya, but if you can't pronounce it, you could call me Fen. And today I'm doing a hygiene and self-care haul. So I'm so excited because this is like my first time as an adult really diving into um, more self-care side of hygiene. Growing up, I used to have sensitive skin, so I could never use any of these products. Everything had to be like oatmeal, sensitive skin for dry skin because my skin was dry too i ain't even gonna care with you but i just ha i couldn't use any of the scented stuff i could never use bath and body works products i know i know but now as an adult i've been diving into more of these different scents to see what i really like and i just picked up a few things and i thought i should share with you guys so without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing we're gonna get into today is skincare. The first item on the list is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel from Neutrogena. It has hyaluronic acid and it's made for dry skin. In my previous hygiene haul, I used the CeraVe Hydrating one, which is actually really good. I kinda wanna switch back to it, but I picked up the Hydro Boost. Now at first, I really didn't like this because I felt like the Sarah V one was doing more of a deep clean and I felt like the Hydro Boost wasn't really doing what I felt like it should have done but I got it because it was like three dollars cheaper but over time like as you can see the bottle the bottle was almost done and this definitely showed up and showed out very much so it ended up acting like the V, or maybe i just needed to use it a little bit longer to see the effect and i love to use this when i'm taking off my makeup so i'll go ahead with the neutrogena makeup wipes and then go after that with this and it works so good now before i put on my moisturizer i use the good molecules discoloration correctum serum this correcting serum is really good because I actually see an evenness with my skin. I still have a little bit of dark spots, but they definitely have lightened since using this. But this is not like a spot treatment type of thing. It doesn't target one specific dark spot on my face. It just targets my face as a whole to make it more lighter, make it more glowy and like all together. And definitely, as soon as I started using this, I definitely got some compliments on my skin. And that really proved to me that the product was working. Now, after I use the serum, I go in with the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is to to help protect the skin barrier. When I first started using this product, my skin was very dry and it used to flake up at least once a month. But as soon as I started using the CeraVe one, I promise you all of that was away and I stand by this product. It's for normal to dry skin, so keep that in mind when you're using that, that this is going to be for dry skin. Now CeraVe also has a formula where you can go ahead and have the sunscreen built into it for the daytime and they also have like a PM one that you can use at night but personally I just love the black girl sunscreen I feel like me and black girl sunscreen is gonna forever be together we are lovers that's my cinnamon apple my baby my sweet pie you know you know so I got the one that was a uh, 30 SPF 30 and this is infused with jojoba oil and avocado oil and if you see my last hygiene haul this was in there as well and I stand by it because honestly I had seen a dramatic difference when I started using sunscreen in general I can't say if this one is better than another one because this is the only one I use and I'm probably going to keep repeating this and although this product is kind of pricey the bottle is still here like at least I've had this since I want to say I've had this since December of last year and now we're in March and I still have it. I just use like two pea size amounts for my entire face. I bring the sunscreen down beneath my chin and the side of my neck. So yeah, pretty much lasts very long. And that's pretty much my whole skincare routine. I don't do too much, don't add too many products. I do see myself in the future maybe adding like a spot treatment cream or something like that or changing out one of these products that are Already here but I just don't find other products necessary I may or may not use a toner in the future but for right now this is what helps my face and I'm gonna just continue to use these products until I feel like I need to add another step and right now I don't 
four steps and that's it okay so the next category I want to get into is oral hygiene I know a lot of people like to skip this part because they feel like I don't really need to know what to brush my teeth with baby I use Colgate but I'm using something a little bit different today this is a fluoride free toothpaste now if you don't know fluoride is a chemical they put in toothpaste but it's actually really really toxic and actually you're not even supposed to have it in your body and imagine how many times you accidentally swallow your toothpaste when you're brushing your teeth or when you're using a mouthwash or something so yeah you're actually intaking a lot of fluoride. You can do your own research on it. I haven't done that that much research, but I just wanted to try out what would it be like to use fluoride-free toothpaste. And that's why today I have the Tom's, what is this? Anti-plaque and whitening, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I've been using this, and I'm gonna always be honest and transparent on here. I've been using this for like two, three days. I like it. Usually I just, I just use it with my mama by me. I go back home, she give me toothpaste, she give me detergent, she give me all the stuff I need and I go back to campus and I live my best life with the stuff that she coupon for. I already use aluminum free deodorant so I'm like why not go the whole way and just add all the, take out all the extraness from every product I use and that's why I tried Tom's. I freaking, I love it. I love it so far. This is worth the try. And then this. I'm not gonna lie with some of y'all, some of y'all need this. Very much so. Because some of y'all, dumb afternoon naps, you think you safe, you're not. This is the brown Listerine. I don't know if y'all know about the brown Listerine. It doesn't work like the blue ones. It doesn't work like the blue ones. This one will take away, baby, it'll erase every ex-boyfriend you ever had from your life. That's what the brown Listerine does. It'll make you forget your credit score and your social security number. That's what this one does. This right here? You never had the brown Listerine? That's all I gotta say. I'm not gonna lie, but honestly, this one, like, you know how they say, oh, it helps fight cavities? This one do. You haven't been to the dentist since you was 12 years old. Go get the brown Listerine. Go right now. Thank you. I'm not even gonna say too much. Go get it. I had the big tub because I just started getting to mouthwash. I ain't gonna cap, I didn't use mouthwash. I just brush my teeth and go about my day. But I do see like that extra judge of mouthwash is very important. I didn't really, I grew up with mouthwash, but it was more like, oh, they're on sale, let's buy one. It wasn't like a consistent thing in my household. So, like, now as an adult, I consistently use mouthwash and I like this one. And if you're a type of person who uses peroxide in your mouth, the Colgate Optic White. A alcohol free um mouthwash that thing definitely is peroxide based it feels just like peroxide but with mint so if you like stuff like that go ahead that's not for me um i like this one the next thing i have is very self-explanatory it's basically just a tongue scraper it's supposed to you know scrape your tongue but i feel like you should get the metal one I feel like the metal tongue scrapers would be way better. This is from Equate, but it's affordable. It's nice, it has two sides. So you have the side where you kind of have to scrape on one side, flip it over and do the other side. Whereas with the metal ones, it's just a scraping. There's no like type of thing like that for you to actually brush the tongue. But yeah, that's it for oral hygiene. See, it wasn't even that long. You made it through, you made it through. Okay, so I'm super excited about my body washes because the first thing up, and it's gonna always be in my hygiene holes. It's just gonna, it's just gonna always be here. It is the Dr. Bronner's in the scent. Baby, unscented. It is like my favorite because this is always going to be my base wash. If I don't use any other body wash, I'm always going to use this. I just think that it really takes off all the dirt, the surface dirt, and I use it for my poom poom and my boom boom, and I feel like that's all that matters. I don't typically use feminine washes because for me, feminine washes actually feel like they're throwing off my pH. This is the only one I use down there. This is the only one I will use down there make sure it is the baby unscented but i do use it all over my body as well for the first base of my wash the next thing on the net list that is 
you know no one really talks about it because it's like it's the it's the cheap one it's not it's, no one's really trying to pay attention but it is the suave suave it is the mango mandarin scent it smells so good it smells it smells so good it actually smells i'm not gonna lie it smells like jello <laughs> Now that I think about it, it smells like fruit jello. But actually, they have another one in the peony scent. But I didn't get the peony scent because I'm not going to cap at you. Every scent I get tends to be some type of floral peony scent or something similar. So I was like, let me be different today. Let me get that mango mandarin. You don't have to have expensive products to have a nice self-care, have a nice hygiene routine. Something like Swap, especially the peony scent is really good, but I got the mandarin today, so yeah. So the next one I got is Dove in the scent Peony. Like I said, I love me some peony. Peony candles, peony perfume, anything, little floral, little flowers in there, whatever. I mean, my name is Fenya Bloom. No pun intended, you know? So I really love flowers. So anything flower scent, floral scented is really good. And I actually, I actually don't see, I see the hype about this. Y'all gonna hate me. Y'all gonna hate me. Because I see the hype about this, but personally, I just think it's a little bit too strong. For me, this smells like a body wash and a dump perfume in it. If that makes sense it don't smell like a scented body wash it smells like a, I'm washing myself with perfume which for some people they they like but for me it's just like sometimes it's like it's kind of irritating or I'm just not used to scents maybe that's what it is but it's just kind of irritating and but I still like it though I don't use this all the time this would be like a random wash at night I won't use this in the daytime because I just don't like the smell of it is just too strong for me. I'm not gonna cap. I'm probably gonna give this to my mom. I had this for a while, so. And if you're looking for affordable Dove products to use, go to Ross, go to TJ Maxx. They definitely be having these products on sale. They're the same ones in the store and they're like for half the price. So check that out. For this body wash, top tier. I said top here the olay the o the olay sugar and cocoa butter exfoliating and moisturized i'm sorry i'm just getting really passionate because this is the self-care late night turn off the lights put all the candles on post up your phone in the bathroom wall to watch youtube or netflix while you scrub this on your skin. It don't get no better than that. I didn't know that that was a scent that I needed in my life until I used this. Using this with exfoliating gloves, exfoliating towels, a rag, girl, use whatever your mama taught you how to use. And if your mama didn't taught you how to use it, use an exfoliating glove. You gonna thank me later. This right here is just in your skin feels so smooth. And I promise you, I washed myself with this at night one time. The next morning, I'm not even gonna say next morning, the next afternoon, because I had to go about my day and I didn't take a second shower because I took this shower late at night. The next day, I smelled so good. And I was like, babe, babe, smell my arm. Smell my arm. And I had put him on some hygiene stuff too. So he smelled good too. I was like, babe, you smell like that? He's like, this on me. I was like, okay, I see you, boy. I see. <laughs> I just see that, boy. The next thing I'm going to talk about is lotions and butters. It's not really butter, but like lotions and body creams. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is the Dove Silky Nourishment Body Cream. <sighs> I love this. Because if you know me, I don't like putting on lotion. I said it, I said it, I don't care. I don't know what it is, just as a kid, I just hated the feeling of lotion on my skin because my mom made me use the Palmer's thick one. You know the one in the white bottle? Yes, my mom made me use that. And I'm like, Ugh, why I gotta use this one? You know, give me some of the This right here, I got this one from TJ Maxx. 
definitely a game changer it's so soft and silky i like it way better than like regular lotions that are a little bit thicker i like how this one is so smooth but i'm not gonna lie for some of y'all with y'all reptile skin y'all can't use this it's not for you it's for the girls whose skin really is soft because they exfoliate this not for the the, the pterodactyl claws and the the snake skin it's not for you go put it you, you picked it up in the store go put it back down you brought it you still haven't used it go return it it's not for you that's okay we going for i got something else for you just hold on some of y'all been forgetting about her the cherry blossom from Jurgens. Don't play with me. Play with your mama. The original scent. Yeah. This is gonna get your skin right. It don't matter if you you have pterodactyl skin or you have very sensitive skin. This will always be your best friend. And I I genuinely feel like this lotion smells like when, this is one of the best smelling lotions out there. I definitely want to try some of the new stuff out here, like the EOS lotion. Yeah. EOS has lotion now. I'm gonna include this. So this one is going at the end of my lotions. It is the Arm & Hammer and the scent Arm & Hammer Aluminum Free Deodorant and the scent Rosemary Lavender. Now, aluminum, the people who do aluminum free deodorant, you know. You know the struggle it is to, to stay smelling good all day. Personally, in my last haul, I was talking about the Love & Beauty Planets deodorant because I was like, oh, you know, it's really good because it's thicker. It was good for the first couple days. And honestly, it was good for probably like a week or two. But after that, I just found myself just, just by the end of the day, it just, it wasn't, it, I wasn't smelling how I was supposed to be smelling, you know? I kind of ended up back with the Arm & Hammer one in the scent Rosemary. Now, I also have another one that's in Coconut from this same brand. And the coconut does not work for me. I don't know what's up with these aluminum de deodorants. You tell us, don't use aluminum, it's bad for you. But you can't even provide something that's equivalent. It's giving you not doing enough research and effort into making sure that I ain't stink throughout the day. That's what it's giving. But I will say this is the only deodorant out of all. And I've, this was the first deodorant I ever tried. And I try to try all these deodorants out here because I just want to know if they're all good. And oh, I found myself back to this one. I just brought this one. <laughs> Honestly, I really think it's just a scent. The Rosemary Lavender is doing something in this product that is making sure that I can put it on 9 o'clock in the morning and at 9 o'clock at night, I'm still fresh. There's no scent. And, and I, I'm gonna stick beside it. I'm not gonna try any more deodorants. Honestly, if they discontinue this deodorant, I don't know what I would do. Yeah, so the last part of this hygiene slash self-care video, I wanted to just add a couple more things that I've personally been liking recently. And the first of which is this candle. It is from Walmart. This is their As Well collection. And this is the lemon zest and bergamot and sage scent. Personally, this scent is a little bit more softer. I personally just like to burn it in the bathroom while I take a shower. So this is personally my favorite, favorite, favorite for the bathroom. But for my room, it just doesn't give that like full effect scent. But the scent is so good. Like it's very light, soft citrus, but not too citrusy, like not kind of like an orange or something. And also they have one that is peony. Now the peony I stand by, okay? And I, I've been talking about flowers. I'm, it's not cause it's peony, but it just smells that good. And definitely I'll put that in my room and then I'll go take a shower and I come back out of the shower and my room just smells like peony and it smells so good. So go get it and tell them I sent you. Thank you. The next thing is my everyday perfume. It's kind of like the only perfume I have. It's not luxury, but it is the Sony Notes perfume in the scent Magnolia. This is, I don't know, it's just so soft to me. Like I really love this perfume. 
it's just a soft sweet smell to it it's really strong the scent lasts all day and i would say this one is kind of like cheaper than all those other luxury perfumes i see a lot of other people are using not saying you can't use it but definitely if you're the type of girl to get bath and body works or stuff like that you might like this scent because it is just as good and it will last probably a little bit longer than any of the body mists that you might find there they also had a scent called vanilla almond and it was good i'm not gonna cap it was a good one i might go back and get that one too that's how good it was yeah so this is definitely a great scent so guys i hope you really like this hygiene video slash self-care i definitely i am definitely a simple girl I don't like to do too much. I don't like to use too many scents. I don't wanna try every scent out of a brand. I really just like to cater to what I like. Maybe in the future, I will be interested in trying like a plethora of different products. But for right now, these are what work for me and these are what I genuinely use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I love it. So if you wanna see more content from me, remember to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment down below of some other products you know of or scents that are really good and soft smelling, cause maybe I'll try it. Maybe, maybe I'll try it for the one time. <laughs> so I hope you guys bloom into the person you want to be. And I thank you so, so much for getting to the end of this video. Bye.